Pushing together as a unit is all this team knows. England have lifted themselves to the top of the world rankings, but face a tough test against New Zealand in Exeter on Sunday. The Red Roses include four Bristol Bears players in their squad and two from Gloucester Harpery, and it's a squad that is looking forward to playing in front of a home crowd and inspiring the next generation. It's great for the region, it's great for kind of English rugby and women's rugby, it's great to you know, showcase the sport at its highest level, like you said, uh, the top two teams going at each other. It's such an exciting spectacle that you know, hopefully we can get a really big crowd but then get a great TV audience as well. The noise that's created at Sandy Park is, is amazing. It's great to run out there, but then also post-game, to be able to walk around the pitch and see all those young girls, young boys that have stayed behind, you know, be able to take pictures and to you know, just thank them for coming to our games. I think that's, that's fantastic. Like myself, I've got um, you know, a couple of young nieces that are really into rugby, and I think last time they ran out with me at Sandy Park, um, and I know that you know, they will be there watching, and just to see the effect that it can have, you know, to encourage you know young girls to take up rugby, it's amazing. Throwing themselves into every challenge, the side is made up of a mix of youngsters and veterans. This team is eager to drive forward after losing to the Black Ferns on home soil in the World Cup final 11 years ago. For Zoe, who's starting on Sunday with Abby, the game at Sandy Park is an opportunity to play against the world's best in an entertaining fixture and attract a newer audience to the sport. I never really see myself as a role model, but to think think of it like that, um, yeah, it's really, really inspiring. Um, and I'm glad that so many young girls are, are able to watch it now. It's been televised, so it's been able to be seen a lot more. Um, so hopefully it'll be a really good spectacle for everyone, for young girls, um, for anyone who hasn't seen rugby before. Um, I think it'll be a really good spectacle. So um, if you have the chance on Sunday afternoon, make sure you tune in um, on the telly um, and hopefully, hopefully we can beat the Black Ferns. <laughs> the game kicks off at 2.30 on Halloween and England will be hoping to showcase their usual tricks to treat the crowd. Narayan Branch, ITV News, Exeter.